I warned you a long time ago, Elizabeth, not to name this ministry after a man or a woman, even before there was a ministry. I put it in your spirit, for none of this has been done by your hands. None of this has come forth from your mouth. It is from the mouth of Yahweh that has given birth. It is from the mouth of Yahushua, your Mashiach, that has been given birth. It is from the mouth of the Rekakadash Yimayah that has been given birth. If it had only been by your hands, it would have failed long ago. Sanayana Nakata, Parina Nakata. It is by the Shekinah glory's wind that blows across this earth. The holy wind of revival. It is not by your breath or it would have failed. Second Chronicles 36.16 But they mocked the messengers of Yah and despised his words and scoffed at his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh rose against his people until there was no remedy. Beware of touching Yah's true prophets and doing them harm. This is a scripture that you are to write down. And for those of you who are in a place you cannot do this, openly find a way to be able to do it. Ask Yah to be able to do this. Psalm 91, write it down. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty Yahweh. And this includes Yahushua Hamashiach. I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers and under his wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it's not going to come near me. Only with mine eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked, because you, O Yahweh Adonai Elohim, El Shaddai, Abba Yah, Yahushua, you who are called Lord, you are my refuge, even the most high, my habitation, and therefore no evil shall befall me, neither shall any plague come near my dwelling, your house, your apartment. For he shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. The angels shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon. Shall I trample under my feet, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, he has promised to deliver me. He has said that he will set us on high, because we have known his name. He shall call upon me, this is a promise of Yah. Yahweh says he shall call upon me and I will answer him and her. I will be with him and her in trouble. I will deliver him and her and honor them. And with long life will I satisfy him and her and show them my salvation. And who is your salvation? There's only one who is the truth and the way and the life, whose name is salvation, whose name is Yahushua HaMashiach. And Yahushua in Hebrew means Yah saves. Learn that name. Shalom. March 17, 2003. It's called the Black Ring of Death Plague. Shalom. My name is Apostle Prophet, and I'm a pastor of a Mighty Wind ministry at a Mighty Wind .com. And my name is Elisheva Eliyahu. And yes, that is my name. In English, it is Elizabeth Elijah, but I go by my Hebrew name because I am a Jew.
but I wasn't born in Israel. So therefore they call me of the tribe of Ephraim. Now, having said all that, this is a prophetic ministry. This is a Messianic Jewish Pentecostal ministry, not because of the organized church of a Pentecostal, although I was born again. And I gave my soul to Yahushua in a Pentecostal church. But that is not the reason why Yahushua calls this a Messianic Jewish Pentecostal. It's because we are of the gifts given on the day of Shavuot. So you will hear speaking in tongues and signs and wonders and miracles follow after those who believe. We don't follow after signs, wonders, and miracles. Please do not be deceived. But when the Antichrist comes, he will do signs, wonders, and miracles, and people will believe he is God. Remember, it's just the opposite. And there is but one Messiah, and it is a biblical Yahushua HaMashiach, who warns that the unholy do not go to heaven. I am going to ha release some prophetic dreams that I had, and this one happened in 2003. We are doing tearing down so we can build up for this ministry has been online for over 25 years. And oh, I've had my share of haters, but if a, when Yahushua walks this earth, they will hate him. So we know we are of him when they hate us. If they're loving you and the majority of people do, you better wonder what are you doing wrong? For we must be willing to be persecuted for Yahushua's namesake. I will only give scripture. I will only lead you to the one and only Messiah. And Yahushua, who some call Jesus Christ, and I will only say it one time because I know his true name. For Miriam, Mary did not give her baby, her Jewish baby, a Greek name. And that's what the name Jesus is. But even when Joseph was asked, what is the name of this baby? He said, Emmanuel. And that literally means Yah with us, God with us. Only the Jews don't say the name God. They put a G hyphen D. Makes no sense. And I'm a Jew and I can say it. The dream is very serious. It was given to me. Whoa, this is incredible. As I'm recording this, um, as I am recording this to match the video that has just been made because you see these prophetic dreams that are so seriously serious now was on November 17th, 2003 and very shortly it will be well that was March 17th, 2000 and three and this is now that i'm recording this is november 16th 2019 and yoshua is still telling me you did not warn the millions you own i we only had those dreams prophetic dreams at a mighty wind.com i've had audible voices i've had visitations of angels i played with the wing of archangel as as gabrielle announced the name of the the a mighty wind prayer intercessors, Yahushua's demon stompers in 2005. I can tell you, for those who will get to heaven, you will see I told the truth. Yahushua HaMashiach has the deepest of the blue, most beautiful eyes as I beheld him face to face. But I do not even want to speak on that, for that has nothing to do with what I'm about ready to speak on. And it's not anything of me anyway that I should boast because I don't even know why I was chosen to have all of these beautiful heavenly visitations and these heavenly words that come from heaven. If you would know me personally, you would know that I don't speak this way. So when you hear the prophecy, but this one, I'm going to tell you, and it's not a, it's a prophetic dream. Again, the warning is strong. 
there is a depopulation agenda now. If you don't know what it is, look it up. They say there's too many people in the world. March 17, 2003, it's called the Black Ring of Death Plague. I dreamed I saw many scientists working in a lab and they were wearing white lab coats. Some of the scientists were women and they were bending over the microscopes in the laboratory and they were doing lab tests. A security guard was standing by the door and he was getting ready to leave for a lunch break. One of the women scientists was his friend and walked over to him and spoke gently to him and asked him what he was going to do. And he said he was leaving to get a greasy hamburger. It's like a fast food takeout thing. The woman that was speaking to him said, but what happened to your diet? And he said, as he looked sadly in her eyes, it's too late. I already have the plague. She then pulled out a small pen quickly out of her pocket, like a little flashlight, and pulled his lower lid down of his eye and shined the light, the bright light, into the white of his eyes. I saw her do it, and yet they did not see me. What she saw were small black rings that looked like tiny circles in the white of his eyes. I saw her get such a sad look on her face, but she really cared for this man, and she knew it was too late he would die, for he did have the plague. The security guard looked so sad and defeated, and he knew that this was a plague, and it was fatal, no one ever lived. And so it was no longer necessary that he would ever have to worry about losing weight again. Remember people, all skeletons weigh the same. Then he left the room and the dream ended. I pray Abba Yahweh in the name of you, sure that this will not take place quickly, but I'm going to obey and this is going to be posted in 2019 for it has never been in a video. I've never reached the millions. And now I do. This ministry is in over 51 languages and this is worldwide when this plague is re released. And I say released because it is a man-made plague. This is not the wrath of Yah. So please remember that. The only way that you can prevent it is to give your love and your life, your soul to Yahushua HaMashiach. You ask for forgiveness of all of your sins and you name them, you confess them and you ask Yahushua to help you. If you normally call him Jesus Christ, remember his Hebrew name, but there's power in the name of Jesus right now. In the time of the Antichrist ruling and reigning in the great tribulation. He will take the name of Jesus Christ. So please learn the Hebrew name now. Do not call him Yeshua. I grieve when I see that. For I am a Jew and I don't claim to know much of Hebrew, but I do know when he speaks a word, he says Yahushua in the prophecies. And it literally means Yah saves. And he also says, what son doesn't want to carry the name of the father? And that's Yah. And it's in the KJV Bible two times. All the other places, they replaced his name with God or Lord. And what father doesn't want his son to carry his name? 
So his name is Yahushua. Not Yeshua. Yeshua totally takes the divinity out of his name. Messianic Jews, wake up. You are defiling the name of the Messiah you claim. It is Yahushua. The name of the Father is in his name. You can reach me at amightywind.com. You hit on the contact box. And I guarantee you I will be able to read each and every email that comes in. And if for some reason it doesn't go through, and then do it again. You can reach me through the guest book. I want to hear your salvation reports. I want to know that you're not going to be one of these who will die with a black ring plague. That is the name that I was told to give it. I don't know what they will call it. So I pray that through these videos you are getting the information, yet you're being entertained at the same time. I have been a the leader of a mighty wind ministry. But really at the Holy Trinity is the head for over 25 years. And I have a great burden upon me to reach the Hebrew, to reach the those, the Jews around this world, to put this prophecy into Hebrew. So if you can translate and transcribe into Hebrew, please, please hit that contacts. I'm looking for brothers. I have sons and daughters all over the world, but a brother has a different relationship with me, and I'm looking for a brother, and Yahushua is a Messianic Jew with the gifts that were given, like on the day of the Pentecost to Shavuot, the anointed a Goliath slayers, especially anyone who is truly a Jew. For I know we are a Jew because we are grafted into the vine, and Yahushua HaMashiach is that vine, but I speak of those who were born and raised in Israel, especially from the tribe of Judah. So Yahushua bless you. I pray you take this dream seriously. Remember, it's not a sin to fall down. And when you fall down, whether it be in sin, whether it be drugs or alcohol, whether it be whatever the sin is, I'm not going to give any reason for YouTube to censor me with their new dictatorship laws. You know what sin is. And you know that the unholy are not allowed to go to heaven. And you also know that the torturous death of crucifixion of Yahushua HaMashiach is the only holy blood sacrifice. Had to come from heaven and be the only begotten son of Yahweh. And he volunteered to not just be crucified and tortured and die as every sin of the world was laid upon him and every disease was laid upon him except one and that is blasphemy of the rock of Kadesh. so be careful what you do with the prophecies be careful what you do with this ministry it truly does belong to the holy trinity it's better off if you don't understand what i say shut your mouth and go away perhaps you've saved your soul Perhaps you'll live another day. For Yah is not easily mocked. So I've given you this prophetic dream. And I have I will feel so much relief when it's finally in a video. Remember that was March seventeenth, two thousand and three, and now Yahushua has put it upon my heart to immediately get these into the videos, and this is what we're doing now. So Yahushua HaMashiach bless you to everyone who truly loves Yahushua. And I pray Deuteronomy 28, the blessings of Yah to those of you who are the bride of Yahushua HaMashiach or who will be the guests at the marriage supper of the Lamb. 
This ministry te is, is unlike any other ministry. I'm unlike any other prophet. My name is Elisheva Eliyahu. I'm also the intercessor for the bride of Yahushua. I want to meet the bride of Yahushua. Please hit that context form that you will see at amightywind.com. And we have a Yaz tube, the alternative to YouTube where you can read the prophecies uncensored. You try to shut this prophet up, I'll only yell louder. And we are in 51 different languages now. And I'm not even going to say how many websites. Just trust me, it's many. Yahushua HaMashiach bless you. Remember, I'll always have haters because those who hate the Yahushua HaMashiach, those who hate holiness, those who want to give a cheap price for the price that Yahushua paid and say it was all sin was done away at the cross. Now we can go live like the devil. Well, you live like the devil, all right. And that'll be your next home, hell and the lake of fire. Be ye holy as I am holy. The Ruach HaKodesh Holy Spirit lives within us and there is no reason to premeditate sin. Read this. Know that it will happen. And when you do, remember Elisheva Eliyahu, the prophet warned you. This picture that you see is the one and only original oil painting that I had seen in a vision. Yahushua's tears of blood, he weeps. He weeps for Israel. He weeps for those who say that they are his. And yet he will say to them, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity, for I have never known you. He weeps for what yet must be done in the great tribulation. He weeps tears of blood. And you see the holy angels, Archangel Michael, he's coming up there with his sword, the war. Do you see the picture behind that? Everything there I saw in a vision, and even the clock there, oh, it's seconds before the midnight hour. Yahushua comes in the midnight hour, and let no one tell you that it'll be on a certain date. For Yahushua himself, the Father has not told him yet when to go get the bride. We know the time, we know the season, because that was in a prophecy, and even the Jews know, and they celebrate Rosh Hashanah. And Rosh Hashanah is the date of creation. Get to know the holy feast, but beware, stay away from anything other than the biblical scriptures. Stay away, unless you know those so-called lost books are truly backed up with scripture. And you can trust the ones that are at amadiwen.com, for I have read them. And you can trust Enoch 1 and Enoch 2. But Enoch 3 is straight from the devil. Do not believe a word in the book that is commonly called Enoch 3. Do not allow anyone to teach it to you. And never think that you are a God. We are who are saved by the name and the blood of Yahushua. The Bible says we are scarcely saved. And what chance does anyone have who does not have the blood of Yahushua washing them clean with his holy, pure blood sacrifice that Allah Yahweh called the perfect sacrificial lamb who without the shedding of blood there can be no remission of sin oh Israel where is your blood sacrifice that's in a prophecy oh Israel the one who will come and sit in that third temple will be the son of Satan take a warning take a warning now people 
never accept the mark of the beast. Yahushua weeps. He weeps for all of the cowards who will do so. But your names were not found written in the Lamb's Book of Life. For Yahushua says he cannot lose one. He will leave the 99 righteous ones following his commands, worshiping him, to go and look for that little lost black lamb that wandered away. You keep on wandering into the pasture of the devil. You keep on going to the world's den. And now you dare call yourself a god? This is Kabbalah now I'm talking about. Beware, beware of this dark mysticism. Beware of anyone who sits telling you there's any other God than the Holy Trinity that I have just named. This is in the Holy Scriptures. This is in the Tanakh. This is in the uh, Torah. And of course, it's in the New Testament. It's all through the Holy Scriptures. Oh, people, I know millions have come to Yahushua because he told me to give birth to this ministry online over 25 years ago on the Ohabit, on the Ohabit. To all who receive this ministry and me and those who help me labor in this harvest field to bring souls to Yahushua so we can be, meet each other in heaven. But more than that, it's for the salvation of your soul. But just remember, to those who get to heaven, shout out my name, I'll come running, and I'll give you the biggest hug, and we will rejoice. We will rejoice where the work on earth was finally done. And we will rejoice for all eternity for the price Yushua Mashiach gave with his own life. He was tortured in our place. He was crucified in our place. And Yahushua gave me a revelation. It's in a prophecy soon to come. And in those three hours that he suffered so greatly and he was mocked and spit upon and vinegar was offered to his lips when he thirsted, he seen every name like a flash that I can't even describe for only God himself could do that, only Yahushua himself could do that. But every name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. This blood's for you. This blood's for you. This blood's for you. And for everyone who rejects it, he's seen you in the Book of the Damned and in the Book of the Blotted Out, knowing not even the sacrifice that he gives would be appreciated. Instead, his name would be damned or they would call themselves a god, or they would deny Yahushua and only use him as for a curse word. That picture right there, one minute to midnight, Yahushua weeps tears of blood like he did in the Garden of Gethsemane. Do you remember that? That's what this picture represents. When you see a copy of it on my reprobate, enemies wall of shame and you see it on their websites or on their YouTube channel. They do not have my permission to use a picture of Imaya. They do not have my picture, my permission to use the one minute to midnight painting. This shows that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And when you see that picture, if they are not part of a mighty wind ministry and they are my enemy and the enemy of all that is holy and only the holy are part of a mighty wind ministry, you will know that they are a deceiver. They are a deceiver. They are trying to appear 
like they are holy and they are not. You already could go to the reprobate law of shame and just know this. They're doing just what I said. To confuse the sheep and the lambs. Oh, I saw that picture before. Oh, that these people, they must be Christian. Well, they once had diaper salvation, but it wasn't good enough. They gave their lives to Satan, and they gave their souls to Satan. And the proof of it is on the reprobate wall of shame. And again, Yahushua himself said, people only want to teach about the, his love, his mercy, his forgiveness. It's healing power, resurrection power, forgiving power. But everyone wants to forget. He warned more about hell than he spoke about heaven. And how many want to remember, beware of the wrath of the Lamb. He stomps on the grapes underneath his feet. And only recently, in a prophecy not even released, he told me those are the rotten fruit, the rotten grapes. Those who once tasted the good, goodness in Hebrew 6. And now they call themselves a god. This is like re-crucifying Yahushua all over again. You cannot bring a reprobate back to repentance with their words, with their mouth, they may speak that which is scripture, but their hearts do not belong to Yahushua. I had to say all of this because when you look at that picture, you see those little angels there? There's little angels there too. There's all different kinds of angels in heaven. But Archangel Michael is the main one that protects Israel and the main one that I have seen physically touch the wing, which is in another testimony in 2005 of Archangel Michael. He protects his ministry. He wars against the enemies of this ministry. And Yahushua is the one who sends him. This is why Israel will always be there. And even a new Jerusalem that will come forth out of heaven will be in Israel. Oh, Israel. There is a warning. The great tribulation is coming. It's you who will build that third temple and you who will allow the son of Satan to sit on that throne until he does an abomination that even you will hide your face in shame. I know what that abomination of abomination is. Again, it's in a prophecy not yet released because I'm so backed up in prophecies. But praise Yahushua, it will be released in his timing. So again, when you see this picture, if you don't know that they are part of a mighty one ministry, then realize this, they are of the devil out to deceive you. This picture, is an oil painting. It has always been with me for oh so many years. It is an actual vision I had on a phone, just praying on the telephone. It was an open vision. Yahushua HaMashiach bless all those who worship Yahushua HaMashiach in spirit and in truth and strive to obey him and will repent of their sins. Not just in words, but in actions. Shalom. Happy Sukkot.
and happy birthday, beloved Yahushua, when you were birthed on this earth during this time of Sukkot. And this, this, this is also called the Festival of Booths. And I want to explain to you, as they put up that temporary tabernacle in the Old Testament, the Old Blood Covenant, as I said, it was just a shadow of what would happen when Yahushua said it is finished. These bodies of ours are the temporary tabernacles right now. And they're waiting to put on those glorified spiritual bodies. Do you understand? When you read the Old Blood Covenant, remember Yahushua said he did not come to cancel the laws of the prophets. He came to fulfill them. He came to say, I've given, a, given you a better way. And he said, it is finished. And when he said it is finished, it was finished. There is no more sacrifices. There is no more burnt offerings that will please Yahweh. For Moshe warned of that. Moses warned. That's Moshe said. He warned. Yahweh said no more animal sacrifices would be covering of any sins. And Moshe warned. It was a new blood covenant coming to wash the sins away. And it is Yahushua, the highest of the high priest in the order of Melchizedek, because he is and he was Melchizedek. And don't let anyone else tell you different. Please, people, study and show yourself approved. Stay humble and walk in humility and pray you will not be deceived for those we once thought we could trust. We can't anymore. They've gone astray. They call a demon goddess Uriah. Can you imagine? Do you know what's going to happen if they continue to believe that lie? To mock the Ruach HaKodesh Holy Spirit with the name Yaron and say that's your daughter in heaven, Yahushua's sister. That's who's hanging on the reprobate's wall of shame and every name is there. Only more will be added. Those are the ones that Yahweh said will burst into spontaneous combustion with one exception. And that man's name was Arez. Caleb, although Abayah don't call him by those names anymore, only Arez. And he's one toe away from hell. One toe. And yet I've asked everyone to continue to pray That he does, that he comes out of this. He comes out of agreement and he realizes the one he thinks it is, is a woman, disguised as a woman, is actually channeling the demon goddess, Uriah. When I mocked, I no longer mock. Truly is a demon goddess. And that man's listening, he knows now. I cannot stay silent. My soul still loves him. Because Yahushua loves him. It is not my love that's continued to battle for him. It's Abba Yahweh and Yahushua. And the Ruach HaKodesh. And Yahushua weeps tears of blood. For that man, who once was a blessing to a mighty one ministry, in 2016, 2017, small part of 2018.
He weeps tears of blood. And he says his blood's for you. Come back, realize you've been deceived. You're, you were on the borderline of insanity. Come out of the mysticism. Come out of the sorcery. Come out, you who are so deep in the darkness of the occult. Believe in your third eye must be open. Ask Yahushua to close it with his shed blood. Repent. Yahushua weeps tears of blood for you. If you are not a reprobate serpent, there's still hope for you. Remember when you read the Old Blood Covenant, it is history, it's a foreshadow of everything Yahushua did for us. As a perfect blood atonement for sin, for no one that ever walked this earth was perfect in the form of a human except for one. And it was Yahushua HaMashiach. Everyone needs to repent. For none of us are perfect. But those who belong to Yahushua HaMashiach, they will not premeditate sin. They fear the Ruach HaKadosh. Who some call the Holy Spirit. Because you do not want to blaspheme the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh Shekinah glory, if she leaves your soul, you are damned. Do you hear me? You are reprobate. And we already have the wall of shame for the reprobates who once had diaper salvation. But this is a celebration. And what I have to say as woe be unto those that fall under he who sits on a throne and the wrath of the Lamb, which is a warning in Revelation 6. Please, people, repent. I am a Jew, but I wasn't born in Israel. So I'm of the tribe of Ephraim, and I wait for my Judah to come to join with Ephraim. Again, I don't know where he is, but I do know this. Yahushua did not start a good work and not finish it. We are sent to Israel. The Ruach HaKodesh books, Secrets of the Ruach HaKodesh, took seven years to put together all the proof of who he was made in the image of. And the Jews already had that knowledge. They already have it. They already know the Ruach HaKodesh. Even the name is feminine gender. They already know. But it took someone like me for Prophecy 89 and 90 to go out on that shaken limb who did not know whose image Eve was made in until that prophecy. Oh, my beloved, a mighty wing congregation, and you visitors, come and watch us celebrate how we, we honor our Messiah, the one and the only. And woe be on the Israel if you don't accept the one whose blood is still drenching your soil that now goes around the world. And to everyone, who acknowledges and says, please forgive me, Yahushua, of my sins. Wash me clean with your blood. I repent of the evil that I've done and I confess my sins to you. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for taking those sins and putting them as far as the east is from the west. Thank you for putting your Ruach HaKodesh inside of my soul. Thank you. Like the prayer that David said, the Ruach HaKodesh. Please never 
read my soul. This is his prayer. This should be everyone's prayer. That the anointing of the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, only gets stronger in you each and every day. People, please realize, Israel, wake up. The Messiah, blood is still in your soil. He was born a Jew from a Jewish virgin woman. The miracles that take place that are recorded happened in Israel. Oh Israel, we love you. Oh Israel, come back. Come back. Yahweh has promised to remarry you, come back in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. The Shema is still the one true God. But there are three Yahweh, Yahushua HaMashiach, the only begotten son of Yahweh. And the Raga Kadash, sweet Holy Spirit. When you see the celebration, it doesn't matter whether or not you've known this before. I speak to the Hebrews all over the world. It's not too late. Come into the arms of Yahushua. And look forward to our next coming videos. Because next is going to be Hanukkah, which we call the Festival of Lights, because Yahushua is the eternal light. That was when Yahushua was conceived. We celebrate Hanukkah. Yes, I know the Old Blood Covenant says it was for the rededication of the temple and for the, the temple was defiled, dead bodies laid all around it. And there was not enough oil to be able to light the lanterns, the menorah. There was a miracle that happened. And once again, it happened in Israel. But it was history. It was a shadow to come of Yushua HaMashiach, the eternal light that will never go out. And when you have the Ruach HaKadosh inside of you, you have an anointing inside of you. An eternal light that will never go out. As long as you prove that you have accepted Yahushua as Mashiach, as Messiah's Savior, whatever name you want to call him. He loved us so much. He said, if there had only been one, everyone whose name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life could only come in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, also called Jesus Christ. He should be the love of your soul, for he is a lover of your soul. You should be celebrating and woe unto you, mainline Christian churches, for I was first saved in a Pentecostal church. You don't even teach the Jewish feasts. You don't even tell the people that you birthday. And it's not December 25th. Come out of agreement with Satan mainline organized churches line up with the true holy scriptures he is the king of israel and they could not take that those words that were above that cross he was crucified on but hallelujah on the third day after he said it is finished 
He rose again. He was resurrected, came out of that tomb. And we know this. For those who have died and those who belong to Yahushua, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, Yahushua HaMashiach. Stand on the new blood covenant scriptures called the New Testament. Read the old blood covenant, the old testament. But see that Yahushua is there everywhere from Genesis to Revelation. And do not believe any other doctrines. For they can be doctrines of the devils. And there's so many out there right now. Do not believe that there's more than the Holy Three co-creators. Heavenly Father, His Son, Yahushua HaMashiach, the Holy Spirit, the Rock HaKadosh. Please, if you want to go to heaven, you truly love Yahushua. Scripture says that Yahushua said, Why do you call me Lord? and not obey me. Another version says, how can you say you love me and not obey me? If he's really the God of your life, you will, with all your mind, body, spirit, and soul, want to have a testimony like unto Enoch and be found pleasing Yahweh. For he did not die. His body was translated into a glorified body where flesh and blood cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. It was not created for flesh and blood. It was created for our spirit bodies that are oh so beautiful. People, there is no way to heaven except through the name and the blood of Yahushua. That's why we say, Happy Sukkot, Happy Birthday, our beloved Ani, oh, have it, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you, Yahushua HaMashiach. All of us celebrate. All of us celebrate. And to a mighty wind congregation and those who visit, come back and see for yourself and taste and see the fruit of this ministry is good, for you will never hear anything that doesn't line up with the Holy Scriptures. Shalom. This salvation prayer was given by Yahweh, Yahushua, and the precious Ruach HaKodesh to Apostle Elisheba Eliyahu 25 years ago. This emotional prayer has never been redone until now. Especially if you are not saved yet and haven't given your life to Yahushua or if you have backslidden into sin. We urge you and more than urge you to say this salvation prayer together with her. If necessary, listen to it several times and get this prayer into your spirit. And again, repeat it with Elisha Veliyahu with all of your heart and with all of your soul. And get saved because tomorrow could be too late. Get saved and give your life to Yahushua HaMashiach right now. Dearest beloved Yahushua HaMashiach, I give my life to you now. I ask that you live through me. I ask that you create in me a pure heart. Psalm 51. I accept you, Yahushua HaMashiach, now as a ruler of my life, and my Messiah and Savior. You are the God that I worship and love. I need and I want and I desire. Forgive me for my sins, for I know all have sinned and fell short of the glory of our creators. Forgive me, Yahushua. Wash me clean. Wash me clean. I confess my sins before you now. I lay them at the foot of the cross of Calvary, where you were crucified and tortured and where you died in three hours. Later you said it is finished. 
And yet you didn't stay dead on the third day. You did arise before witnesses. And for 40 days you walked this earth until you ascended back to heaven before witnesses. Yeshua HaMashiach, whom some call Jesus Christ, I declare your Hebrew name now before the great tribulation comes. The name is used as a curse word when they say Jesus Christ, and they do not dare to say that as a curse word of Muhammad or, or Allah or Buddha or even Satan, but they curse the name above all names. One of the parts of the Holy Trinity. For you are the only begotten son of Abba Yahweh. And the Ruach HaKadosh. And you are the Holy Trinity. And there is no other. You are the co-creators. You are the word that was made flesh. Oh, Yahushua, forgive me. Yahushua HaMashiach, the Messiah. Above that cross hung the words, King of Israel, and they couldn't take it down because you are coming back again to rule and reign. And oh, Yahushua, the bride of Yahushua, say, Come, Yahushua, come. But not everyone is fit to be the bride of Yahushua. And so you say in the book of Revelation, Blessed are all who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, forgive me of my sins. Wash me, wash me clean with the only pure, holy blood sacrifice. When you walked this earth for 33 years, you never had a thought of sin. You never had an action of sin. Although you were tempted with every sin, you told the devil to get lost. He had no claim on you. And he will have no claim on me after I say the salvation prayer. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, I believe you paid the price for my sins at Calvary. You were crucified. You were tortured. You were mocked. You were spit upon. Your clothes were, were stripped off of you as soldiers gambled, even for the clothes on your back. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, forgive me and put your Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, within me, so let me know when I do right and wrong. Send the Comforter, let the Comforter come in me now. For I know you are not dead, but you arose again on that third day as that big boulder was rolled away that the soldiers had placed there and guarded. But that did not stop you on that third day. The boulder rolled away. I ask you to come into my heart to forgive me of my sins. I confess every sin to you now and I name them and I turn away from them because I've been washed clean of all the unrighteousness, all the filthiness of this world. I give my life and my love to you. I will not deny you. O oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, you said if there had only been one, if there had only been me who would cry out for mercy, you would forgive and the sins would be as far as the east is from the west. You said there's only one sin that could not be forgiven and that is a blasphemy of the Raka Kadesh, the sweet Holy Spirit. Oh, beloved Yahushua, I would not be saying this prayer now if I was someone who was of blasphemy unless it was of mockery. And I do not mock. I truly believe with all of my heart and I will not doubt there is but one truth and way and life to get to heaven. There's only one intercessor 
only one name that Abba Yahweh, the Holy Father, will even listen to a prayer, and that's through your name, Yahushua HaMashiach. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have sinned against you so greatly, but I rise up. I'm not staying fallen, and I rise up, and I come to you, and I hang on tight to the cross at Calvary where you died for me and where you said it was finished. I turn away from every sin. I rebuke Satan and all those who are part of him. I rebuke the unholiness in the name and the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach shall constantly be on my lips and I shall study and show myself approved and I shall read the New Testament. I shall read and I shall know you are the Torah from the law, from the beginning to the end, from Genesis to Revelation. I thank you now for filling me with your Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, the sweet, sweet Shekinah glory, the very presence of Yahweh. And thank you for giving me the desire to serve you all the days of my life. And thank you for giving me the desire to live your life in me. Oh, Yahushua, live your life through me. I give your my life and my soul to you. My mind and my body belongs to you. I'm so grateful. I have a Messiah. There is a blood sacrifice for, as it is written, with out, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission, no forgiveness for sin. And the blood of the animals of the, that were sacrificed in the Old Testament and the Old Blood Covenant would not satisfy Abba Yahweh anymore for the sin was so great. He had to send his only begotten Son to whomsoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Thank you for filling me with faith to believe and never doubt. Oh, let your name be glorified through these lips and everything I do from now on. Show me how I can serve you. Show me how I can glorify you. Show me how I can exalt you. Thank you for freeing me from every addiction. Thank you for freeing me from every sin. And although I won't be perfect, thank you. Thank you that I'm able to say and reach out to you again and say, Yoshua, I've fallen. Please forgive me. But I will not premeditate sin. I will not hurt you like that purposely. Thank you for giving me the desire to read the Bible, especially everything about you. Thank you for helping me to understand what Elisha Yahu is teaching as a Messianic Jew. She's teaching the Hebrew roots of the biblical scriptures and the Torah is from Genesis to Revelation. Your name is there. If they only knew Hebrew, they would see. As you told Elisha Yahu, you taught her that the Torah, the Old Testament, was only a foreshadowing of when you would come. You would have a better plan. Moses did what he was to do, for at that time, it was not yet for you to be born. But even the blood that was over the doorpost of that sacrificial lamb was a foreshadow of you, Yahushua HaMashiach, when your blood would save and the angel of death would be forced not to touch those inside. And the curses could not come upon them, for they truly worshipped Abba Yahweh. 
thank you for giving me the wisdom to understand the holy scriptures and the holy prophecies that you have spoken forth through a mighty wind ministry. Thank you for loving me and saving my soul. You said if it had only been me, you would have went to the cross at Calvary. You would have been tortured. You would have been beaten. And by your stripes, you said I was healed. You did not stop at your salvation. But you allowed Satan to go into the torturer that beat you 39 times with an, no ordinary whip. But a whip with bits of lead and stone and anything that could rip and tear your, your skin in shreds till you barely even looked human and then forced you to carry hundreds of pounds of a cross up the hill of Golgotha. Oh, Yahushua, help my faith to grow each day, oh, Yahushua, Mashiach, so one day I will be with you in heaven and you will embrace me and cover me in kisses. I will be at the marriage supper of the Lamb. I will not deny you even when it comes to the fact that they say you have to lay your life down like they will demand for people to become martyrs. And only the bride of Yahushua HaMashiach will have a testimony as unto Enoch. So help me to be strong in you. Fill me overflowing with the Ruach HaKodesh Holy Spirit now and deliver me from the evil one called Satan in your name, Yushua HaMashiach, let the demons flee now in seven different directions. As I belong to you, Yushua HaMashiach, as I say this prayer, and I pray it, and I will continue to pray it each and every day until it gets in my spirit and my soul and my mind and my body. Oh, Yushua, help me. Yahushua, to remember all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of the Father, Yahweh. You came to save us sinners, and that's why you're called our Savior, our Mashiach. You are the one and the only way to heaven. Your name is salvation. Yah saves. It is not Yeshua. It takes away the divinity of your name. You're named after the Father. And the Father's name is in your name. This is what I've been taught to stay. Help me, O Yahushua HaMashiach. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Help me, Yahushua HaMashiach, for I know I will be persecuted for your name's sake. Help me, Yahushua HaMashiach. I will never give up my faith in who you are. This day I am born again. I am blood washed. I am blood-bought. My soul is not for sale. I belong to you, Yahushua HaMashiach. And because of it, I can now say to Satan, as it is written, submit yourself unto the name of Yahushua HaMashiach and then resist the devil and he shall flee from me. And submit means I will obey you. I will obey the Ten Commandments. I will obey the holy feast that Abba Yahweh has set in place to bring honor to the Holy Trinity. Abba Yahweh, Yahushua Mashiach, and the Ruach Gadesh, sweet Holy Spirit. 
I will honor the Shabbat day and I will keep it holy. And it is not the lie of a Sunday. Help me, Heavenly Father, to defend the truths of a mighty wind ministry and the truths and the prophecies. Let me not turn into a reprobate enemy. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, I worship, I praise, I love, and I adore you. Thank you for coming into my heart. By faith, I believe every addiction has fleed from me. Every temptation to sin right now is gone. And when I am tempted, remind me to call upon the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. I worship you. Oh, Abba Yahweh, I've come now to the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, and I come before your throne, and I ask for your help. For Yahushua has told me that before none could come to you and have a prayer answered, unless it's through the name and the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. I will read this prayer and I will hear this prayer for it was spoken underneath the anointing and Elisha Yahu did not even know one word from the next what she would speak for you put the new prayer in her mouth for even the old prayer has passed away and become new and I will say it not with the head knowledge but with all of my heart I believe it in faith, and I will remember that Yahushua HaMashiach is not only my God and my Lord and the soon coming King of Israel and the only begotten Son of Yahweh. He is my Messiah. He is my healer, my deliverer, my resurrector. And he is my best friend who will never leave me nor forsake me. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for he is with me. I hang on to Psalm 91, and I hang on to Psalm 23. For I know, Yushua HaMashiach, you love me so much. You love me so much, you led me to where this prayer is. You love me just the way I am. You love me so much that you said, now I will make you better. Now I will raise up in you the true spirit within you so that I can say that you are pleasing unto me and no longer call you a worker of sin. Yahushua, you paid the price for my sins. And now I don't need to feel guilty or condemned anymore. For I have confessed every filthy sin before you, Yahushua HaMashiach. I have named them and I have cried tears over them. And I have told you that I am so sorry. And you have said, my child, I forgive you. Now you must have faith, and faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. And even if I don't hear your voice like Prophet Elishavela Yahu, I know that you hear me. I know that you see me. I know that I am a child of Abba Yahweh. You, Yahushua HaMashiach, and you, precious Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit, Imaya. All of my sins are now forgiven. And there's a no fishing sign there. The only one that can go there is if I choose to remember my past sins and feel dirty about them all over again. Or if I choose to allow Satan to go fishing there and say, remember what you used to be and do. And that's when you have told me, Yahushua, that I am to tell Satan, I am forgiven. My soul belongs to Yushua HaMashiach. And as he reminds me of the past, I will remind him of the future, and that is a bottomless pit for eternity. 
and the lake of fire. I now know that a sin is anything that I have done that displeases a holy Abba Yahweh and you, Yahushua, when you Ruach HaKadash. I know that we all work out our own salvation with fear and trembling and whatever was done in the war in heaven against Lucifer, the war has been brought down here on this earth and I will fight him. I will fight Satan and all of the unholy ones with him and all of the reprobates. I will fight them. Not in my strength, not in my might, but in the anointing of the Ruach HaKodesh. I will get to know who you are, Yushua Mashiach. For John 3.16 the Bible tells me that I must confess you as my ruler of my life, my Lord, my Savior, my Messiah. So you will confess me before the Holy Father, Abba Yahweh. I must remember never to be ashamed of the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Never be ashamed of the truths and the revelations I will be taught. For Yahushua HaMashiach is not ashamed of me. I will tell someone that I can trust. That today I have made the decision of my life. This is my birthday. The day I say this prayer with all of my mind, with all of my heart, my body and my soul and my soul belongs to Yahushua. I accepted you, Yahushua, of Calvary and Nazareth, born in Bethlehem, both God in the spirit and both God in the flesh. But it was flesh and spirit that hung on the cross at Calvary. And this day I know that all the angels in heaven are rejoicing. They are rejoicing and they're singing with joy. And if no one ever rejoices over me on this earth, if I feel no one ever loves me or accepts me for who I am, I know that you rejoice and I know that all the angels rejoice for this is what the Bible says. And I know this apostle prophet, Pastor Elisheva Eliyahu, rejoices over me right now. And she has said, if I need a pastor, then I have one. And I know I am welcomed by a mighty wind that come online ministry that is in 51 different languages around this world that call upon you. We are not alone. And they all tell me that I am welcome. And they all wait for me to write Elisheva Eliyahu and tell her, I've accepted you, Yahushua HaMashiach. And even though I was an Orthodox Jew, and I speak now to those who will be Orthodox Jews, they too are welcome to come to Yahushua HaMashiach the way I've come to you this day. And oh, I look forward, Yahushua HaMashiach, for you embracing me and hugging me so tight and kissing my cheeks. I look forward at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Whether I be a bride or a guest, I will dance the Jewish dance with you. Oh, Yahushua, thank you for forgiving me. I feel so clean now. Thank you, Yahushua HaMashiach. Help me to grow quickly in you. Help me, give me more discernment. There's so many false prophets out there, so many who claim to be Christians, and yet they're lukewarm that you're going to spit out of your mouth, vomit out of your mouth, as the book of Revelation says. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, bring another believer to me. 
so I will not walk this walk alone, but if I must, so be it, for I don't walk alone, I walk with you, my new best friend, my Messiah, my Lord God, my Savior, I have you, Yahushua HaMashiach. Thank you for the gift of eternal life that I just inherited this day. To know my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Please keep it there and never let it be blotted out, is my prayer. And take not the Ruach HaKadosh Holy Spirit from me. Instead, of increase the anointing within me. This is my prayer. I ask this day, on my true birthday, I said this salvation prayer. In Yahushua HaMashiach's name, I know that I will be hated more in this world than I am loved. Just like if you were walking this earth right now, they would hate you for your holiness. Thank you, Yahushua HaMashiach. For I know when Satan hates me and the demons and the reprobates hate me and they call me crazy, I know I truly belong to you, Shema HaMashiach, and I have been born again this day. Blood washed and blood bought and my soul is no longer mine, but in your hand, Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen. In a mighty way, walk off in the Trinity, the true head of the ministry. We had a mighty way. Walk off in the taking back from the enemy, and he shall Knock her down, she'll get back up from the ashes now She's gonna rise up she Knock me down, I'll get back up Can't shut my mouth, I'm gonna rise up